quite a silly question, but if you could be any flavour crisp, which one would it be and why? Ooh, mm -hmm. sweet chilli. Because I'm sweet <laughs> and I've got a sting. <laughs> you do look like you're serious, but still got that nice... Sweet, sweet chilli. What would you be? Prawn cocktail. Why? First is like my favourite flavour. And as you know, my, my dad's from Bangladesh and it's all about fish. So, yeah, like, you know, yeah. got to support them as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I like prawn cocktail, actually. Which ones do you like most? Skips. Mm. I like hula hoop. Hula I don't hoops. think they do. Do they do hula hoops in prawn cocktail? They do everything. I don't. Do they? I, I just like any crisp, whatever it is. I like Walker's Sensations, Thai sweet chili. <gasps> They're nice. Make me hungry. <laughs> sure, exactly. If you could be a chocolate bar, what would you be? Oh, I've got to think of it. Maybe Snickers. Why? First, of course, I love Snickers. And it's just got a mix of everything. It's got like the zing and the zah and like the chewiness and everything in it. What chocolate bar would you be? Um, probably fruit and nut because I love it. Cadbury's fruit and nut. Because oh, it yeah. makes me feel like I'm eating my one of five a day, but I'm not. <laughs> it's the best one of your five a day that you're going to get. With chocolate. Exactly. <laughs> why, are you sport why are you supporting Penny Appeal today? Uh, because Adeem called me and said I had to be here. <laughs> But because I think you do some really amazing work. I mean, look at your video. Look at how many people's lives you change. And in our world, when we get busy in our own world, and we can become quite selfish. And what Penny Appeal allows us to do is to be selfless for a little while. And that does good for other people. But being selfless also makes you feel better as well. You've made it to the top of your profession. Do you think women of our colour still face lots of problems to get to the top? tons and that's why you have to be four times as good to get half as much success and that's not fair but you can either get upset about that and say that's not fair um, or you can say I'm going to work harder than everybody else and I'm going to get to the top and then I'm going to try and change it so for the next set of women who come after me it won't be as hard it'll still be hard and it'll take generations to change it but if each generation fights to the battle you know to make things more equal for equal worth an equal value, then eventually, hopefully, inshallah, we'll see a day when women of colour don't have to fight their way to the top and are just recognised for the talent that they are. Okay. What advice would you give to a girl like me who's trying to change the world? Um, I don't think you need any advice. <laughs> I think you, a girl like you can give us <laughs> advice because at the moment we're clearly messing it up, aren't we? So I think your generation change. I think... Your optimism is something that we can learn from. You know, your vision is something that we can learn from. Your enthusiasm is something that we can learn from. And if I had to give you any advice, I'd just say, just keep being yourself. Keep being authentic. Don't try and be anybody else's version of you. Be your version of you and be true to yourself. Let's see what else we got. Who was your role model growing up? Um, I had lots of different role models. Um, there weren't many people of colour on television or people around you or in professions that you could look up to and say, I want to be like them. And I think you have to see somebody like yourself to be able to say they're my role model. But, you know, my mum was my role model. She, she worked really hard and she was, you know, working and driving in the 70s and she bought up five girls and, you know, she was an inspiration. My dad was a role model. You know, he was, a, he was the father of five daughters and gave us lots of support to do what we wanted to do and came here with nothing and worked really hard. So I don't think you need to necessarily have kind of famous role models. But I suppose in terms of politicians, I would look to people like, say, Benazir Bhutto, who I would say, well, she's a woman and she's a woman of colour and she's Pakistani or Pakistani origin and, and she rose to the, top of, to the top of her professional career. Oh, that was really a lot to say, well, thank you so much for letting me interview you on this special night celebrating Penny Appeal's 10 years amazing. Thank you for interviewing me.